Hello everyone, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to customize your lock screen on your iPhone. So here we are on my lock screen, and what you're gonna to want to do is just tap and press on your lock screen there, and then you're going to be able to see the current screen that you have available to you, and then you're gonna see a couple of options and settings that maybe you've tinkered around with before. But what you want to do if you want to start fresh is you can go over to the far right where it says add new, and then just tap on the blue addition symbol there. And then with that blue addition symbol there, you're going to see where you can add a bunch of different wallpapers. So you'll see a bunch of the featured wallpapers that Apple provides you. You even have suggested photos from your photo library on your phone. Or one that I really like is the photo shuffle where every hour or so, the photo will shuffle from one picture to another. We have weather and astronomy, we have emoji, we have different collections and colors. You choose the wallpaper that you want. I'm going to go with photo shuffle. You can actually go here and choose the individuals or people that you want to include on your photo shuffle there, select the ones that you want, go to add up there in the right hand corner, and you're good to go. Uh, then you have shuffle frequency there, you can select daily, hourly, on lock, on tap, it doesn't really matter, choose how you want to use that, and then you go to use featured photos. And then once you do that, you'll see your featured photos there, and if you swipe left or right, it will add different color overlays on top of said photo or photo shuffle. And then once you've kind of set the uh, color that you want, go to add there, it will then save your settings. And then you'll see now where you can set as wallpaper pair if you want to. And then if, if you wanted to do something different, you could customize the home screen, but we can go to set as wallpaper pair, and then it'll kind of pair it up with your wallpaper as well as your lock screen. Now, what you want to do beyond that is you want to go to customize now and you're going to see a bunch of different options. You're going to see your time, your date, and you're going to see widgets. We're going to cover them from top down. So if we go here and we select like the date, we can actually go here and add widgets if we want to. But if we go and tap into the actual text there and tap and hold, we can change the, the font. This is something that people on iOS have been wanting forever. Uh, so you can go here and you can change and customize. Now they are limited to what fonts and sizes and colors that you can use, but you just pick the one that best suits you and your stylistic choices here on your phone and then go ahead and tap the X there to get out of that. Same goes for the date. If we tap and hold there, uh, we can adjust how that date is displayed. Now, the other thing you would want to do is add widgets. If we go to tap add widgets here, there will be widgets coming out like crazy. As you can see, Facebook already has theirs released. Uh, you have your Apple Watch battery, you have your uh, fitness rings there, you have different calendar widgets you can add, weather, things like that, but there will be plenty more as time progresses. So you can just scroll down here at the bottom and see what's available to you, but as your different apps update, like Instagram, TikTok, I'm sure there'll be plenty of them from tons of different things, but you can go and you can just tap on a widget to add, like I'll add the weather there, I will add my fitness rings, and then if and then if I wanted to, I can you know add anything else. Now, if you want to remove a widget, you just go here and tap on the minus symbol, and that will automatically remove that specific widget. So you have all your different widgets that you can choose there, uh, and, and and really uh, adjust how you want. Uh, so as you can see, I've added a different nature layout to kind of let you see what that may look like. If we tap the three horizontal dots there on the right, uh, you can see that that's basically showing you the different frequencies at which you can adjust your uh, different screen there. Now, when you are done customizing your lock screen, you just tap the done button there in the upper right hand corner. It will then save that. And then if you want to, you can set as a wallpaper pair, as I just mentioned, and you can swipe through the different ones that you want and then just tap on the one that you basically have gone you know, to select. Now, as far as notifications go, you can see I have mine set to kind of tell me how many notifications I have. Uh, if you just swipe up, go to your home screen here. And so just go to settings here and then go to notifications. And then you can see where it says display as right here at the very top, you have count, stack and list. Now, I prefer the count. You can have them stack up at the bottom. You can have them list out through the different kind of lock screen. But what's the point of customizing your lock screen if your notifications are going to be covering them up? So I found that the count option is going to allow me to see my lock screen that much better. So that is how you customize your lock screen on your iPhone. If you have any questions, please put those in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys in the next video.